thank you very much for joining us in KTN News Desk. My name is Becky Kialo. We have the latest taking place in the country and beyond. And in the country, our focus this afternoon is going to be the education crisis. We have a few stories and a few interviews that will bring into focus what's happening right now in the country. Let's begin with the highlights. will blink first. Teachers' unions continue to lock horns with the government over their pay rise. And Ababu Namwamba proposes 50% pay cut for senior public officials. <laughs> Plus, it's a scramble for free maize in Kisumu. Like I mentioned, let's begin with our top story this afternoon and the mention of a case filed by teachers against its employer for contempt of court will be mentioned this afternoon at the Milimani Law Courts. The Kenya National Union of Teachers is accusing the Teachers Service Commission, the Cabinet and Principal Secretaries of Education, Finance and Labor of refusing to respect court orders to raise teachers' basic pay by between 50 to 60 percent. Meanwhile, the case seeking a review of the reward will be heard tomorrow at the Court of Appeal. And the Kenya National Union of Teachers is staying put, saying the ongoing teacher strike continues. And in a short while, we will be speaking to our Sharon Momani, who is going to be joining us live from NAS headquarters here in Nairobi for the reaction of the officials there in regards to what took place yesterday uh, uh, with the uh, president saying that there's no money to pay the teachers because of a ballooning wage bill among other issues that he mentioned yesterday. We will be crossing over to Sharon Momani in a short while but for now another developing story is uh, Budalangi member of parliament uh, Babu Namwamba is uh, actually addressed the media this morning on a proposed motion seeking to reduce the salaries for MPs as well as other public officers. All this as the government urged Kenyans to go back to work since the pay increase they are demanding for is not sustainable. Right, we'll get in that reaction shortly. But Kenyan publishers want uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta to convene a meeting between striking teachers and their employer. Kenya Publishers Association Chairman David Weru says the president should ensure the crisis facing the education sector is solved before he leaves for New York where he is scheduled to attend the United Nations General Assembly. He says the strike has also affected the publishing sector. The experts are seated on this side <laughs> of the Kiswahili language. Just one moment, Mr. Kain. All our leaders should recognize that history will judge them harshly for pushing Kenya one step closer to the level of a failed state. For that is what we are slowly sliding into. If 14 million children are denied a very basic right to schooling simply on the basis of a feud between government, the trade unions and teachers. There cannot be any reason, there cannot be any justification for kids not to be in school when they should. 14 million of them, even if it was one child, there cannot be any reason. And we want to tell our leaders that history will judge them very harshly. It doesn't matter how good their arguments may be, it doesn't matter how justified they are, nobody has the right or can have enough reason to steal the dreams of 14 million young Kenyans who are looking up to them. Still on the education crisis and the decision by President Uhuru Kenyatta to rule out a pay rise for teachers continues to raise mixed reactions. In his address to the nation, the president said the government has no money to pay teachers. In a move likely to spark angry reactions from teachers who are currently on strike pushing for better salaries, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta says the country cannot afford to pay teachers more 
at least for now. For the president, a pay rise for teachers may hurt the economy and lead to increased cost of living. If the award were paid, we would have had to find an additional Kenya shillings 118 billion to meet the salary and pension obligations of the award. The fact of the matter is that to pay this award, we would have had to raise VAT from the current 16% to 22%. Or alternatively, borrow money or suspend critical development programs and essential services in health, education, and in security. The president argues Kenyan teachers are in fact earning well as compared to their counterparts in Africa. The claim also that Kenyan teachers are paid less than their colleagues in the region is also not true. The lowest paid teacher in Kenya earns seven times as much as his counterpart in Burundi. The lowest paid teacher in Uganda, for example, earns the equivalent of Kenya shillings 7,600, while the lowest paid teacher in Tanzania earns Kenya shillings 15,800, compared to the lowest paid Kenyan teacher who takes home over Kenya shillings 23,000. Indeed, Kenya's, te Kenya, Kenya's teachers are the third highest paid on the continent after Morocco and South Africa, both of whose economies are much larger than Kenya's. He further defended his government's decision to close schools, saying it was for the safety of the children. With the tensions and animosity of striking teachers that occasioned threats to the safety and security of millions of unsupervised and unattended children, and faced with the risk of destruction of educational facilities in public and private schools, my government has taken steps to protect our children, to reassure their parents, and to safeguard public property. President Uhuru Kenyatta also urged teachers to dialogue with their employer and other bodies established under the Constitution. Government is about service. I urge all teachers, as parents, as public servants, and also as Kenyans, to reconsider their position on this matter and to resume their duties in the interest of our children. His appeal comes just a day before the Court of Appeal starts hearing an application by the Teachers Service Commission seeking a review of the ruling awarding teachers between 50 and 60 percent pay rise. Now the sentiments shared yesterday by President Uhuru Kenyatta of course has raised varied reactions from different quarters and we now want to cross over live to NAT headquarters where the Secretary General Wilson Sosion is uh, set to start speaking about uh, the issue that was raised yesterday, the issues that were raised yesterday, uh, the government saying that they're not ready to pay the 50 to 60 percent pay rise. Let's uh, link up with what's happening uh, at the NAT headquarters there where Wilson Sosion is addressing the media. Are you ready now? I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you. The Kenya National Union of Teachers Forum, where we shall tell this country that the constitution of this country is supreme. We want to welcome you, members of the press, the Kenya National Union of Teachers Forum, where we shall tell this country that the teachers of this country have no government other than the government of the day. And they have no other president other than the president of the day. His Excellency Huru Kenyatta. And therefore, 
Anybody who is trying to separate the teachers from the government, anybody who is trying to feed the president of this country with lies, anybody who is trying to portray the president as a person who does not love teachers of this country because of the lies that person gives that president is living in another world. Hu mgomo hautaisha sasa kwa sababu wale wanaotaka kuumaliza hawako tayari na wanaokutaka kuumaliza ni wale ambao wanamdanganya rais manake kama wangemwambia ukweli rais wiki ya pili tungekuwa tushalipwa siku ya pili tu sasa mlio wa pesa katika account ndio utakaomaliza mgomo mlio wa pesa katika account ndio utakao maliza mgomo asante Right, that has been 45 minutes of uh, the reaction in regard to yesterday's uh, statement by President Uhuru Kenyatta that the government is not ready and not willing to pay teachers a 50 to 60 pay rise. 50 to 60 percent uh, pay rise but of course uh, officials from the Kenya National Union of Teachers saying that they are not ready to back down that they will not go down without a fight and they want their money in the bank accounts. This has been KTN News Desk. My name is Betty Kialo. KTN News Truck coming up next.